Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing, another cordless vacuum for you to have a look at today. Uh, this is a Vax, it's the Vax Life U85LFB, designed in the UK. You'll know this if you live in the USA or Canada um, under the Hoover brand, um, but it's, I think it's probably the same as the one you have there. Now this has been around for quite some years actually, it was one of these sort of earlier cordless machines. We've had cordless machines for, for quite some years, but they've used the old-fashioned NICAD battery technology. This was one of the earlier vacuums, cordless vacuums, to use the better lithium-ion battery. It's quite long in the tooth now, I'm surprised it's still going, but we'll have a look at it. I got this quite cheap. I've always wanted to try one out, so when I saw it I thought, oh, I'll get one. So here we are. So it's got a two year guarantee, here's the instruction book. Let's get started. So basically, this is just um, a cordless vacuum for your carpets and hard floors. It doesn't do any above floor cleaning. There's no tools that you can attach or that are fitted. Right, first thing out of the box, we have got a separate charger. I like that having a separate charging base. A lot of the cheaper cordless cleaners, you just plug them directly into a socket on the machine. But this one has an easy to remove battery that you take out to charge. So you can leave this, leave this on a, a suitable work top in your kitchen or utility room or anywhere really where you've got a, a socket. Please charge your life battery before first use. Charges in just three hours. So it's got, I believe this is a, a light all around the charger here in blue. So if that's solid, it means it's charging. If it's a slow pulsing light, it means it's fully charged. And if it's a rapid flashing light, you have an error. Oh, I've got two, look. They've put two on for some reason. So there's the charger that the removable lithium ion battery slots into and of course that's the bit that you plug into your wall socket. Next out of the box we have the handle and when it's fully assembled you can't fold the handle down or anything like that. Some of the um, little stick cordless vacuums I've got they have a folding handle which makes them easier to store this one though, once it's actually screwed together, that's how it remains. It seems pretty solid in silver and black with nice little chrome accent pieces. And we've got the, uh, I don't know if it's just one screw attached to there that we need to put into the top of the machine. Let's take the screw off and do that bit of tape. Yes, yeah, just one one long screw, and uh, we've got a little bit of protective plastic. Carefully remove that. Vax did a handheld as well that matched this. That we use the same battery, and at one point you could get them as a pair, but I think they only still only came with one battery. But you could easily interchange the batteries. You might still be able to buy the um, hand vac, I'm not sure, I'd have to check. So yeah, it does seem quite solid. You've got two position switch here. Carpets and hard floors, I believe that will illuminate. I think it's probably a, um, a blue neon. So obviously in hard floor mode, you've got suction only and a static brush. And when you move it into setting two for your carpets, you've got the rotating brush coming into play as well. Pop that there. I'm hoping the battery is in here. And next out, I haven't seen the battery so far, and I'm feeling around and it's not actually, I won't be happy if this isn't in here. The battery's not in here. <laughs> I've had this several weeks with it before opening it as well. So here is the cleaner head with wind tunnel technology like some of the Vax and of course some of the Hoover uprights. 
Again, got a bit of protective tape. Oh, there we are, at last. So here's the underside. Mm, it's quite a good brush roll. They're soft, softish, but they're nice long brushes. And it's got a nice V shape to the brush. You see how it's designed? So that design is a good design on an upright because it means that it's sweeping the debris into the strongest part of the suction path, which here, of course, is the middle section. So that should prove to be pretty good. You've also got quite a large little groove here, so that's for larger debris. So um, it shouldn't snow plow. Well, it will snow plow some, but if <laughs> anything that's uh, quite large will go through that hole, I suspect. You've got some sort of little brushes on the side. You've got a little velour strip. And uh, to give you access, it's not an easy access to get into here. It looks like you've got to undo one, two, three, four, five, seven screws to get this plate off if you need to. I assume you'll be able to change the belt if necessary. You've got two wheels at the front, two rubber coated wheels at the back. They seem nice, smooth running. All in all, so far, it does seem, you know, pretty well made vacuum. I'm just hoping few Keep me, keep me panicking till the end. Here's the little mine battery. Where's my scissors? Here they are. I was a bit worried that it was missing from the box. That is not, not unknown for me to open a factory sealed vacuum and found, find something missing. So, here's the battery. As you say, it says lithium, lithium ion. Oh, there's a little thing, look that sticks out when you move that. So I think that's when you remove it from the cleaner, you do that and then that pops out and uh, disengages somehow. So when I plug it in, the charger, it will go in there, that's it. So it sits into that, nice neat little charger. And when it's fully charged, just have to pull it out and I pop it into the back of the machine, I think. There might be a little bit of charge in here. So this is the last thing out of the box. You've got the main unit. So um, I can't remember, I got this uh, a re very reasonable. It was about 50 pounds, which isn't bad. But as I said, it's only really, it seems quite a large capacity. It's only suitable for doing your floors and carpets. But a lot of people just want a stick vacuum for that. I still personally think at the time of making the video that even the most expensive Dyson slim vacuum rechargeable isn't a replacement. For the majority of people, it's not a replacement to a normal vacuum. Unless you live in a, a small apartment, it could possibly be. It wouldn't be for me. It does seem, I'm pretty, you know, pretty solid really for a Vax product. Vax Life, wind tunnel technology, cordless, lightweight carpets and hard floors. Oh, the battery goes in the front, not the back. Is that, yes, that's the front. That's where we slot the battery. You've got an indicator as well to show you how full the battery is. Of course, I need to plug the um, handle in. I think it's like a, a single cyclonic, very basic. There we are. So there's a motor fan here, and the motor's obviously here. And here we have. It looks quite large, but the maximum fill line is only there, so it isn't as large as it might appear. 
It'll be stiff because it's new. That's very stiff. Hang on, I'll just move that. Um, don't want that falling down and breaking. Pop it there. <laughs> it's very... Um, oh. There's no chance of that opening on its own. Right, I think it's because it's, it's brand new. There's a filter. Stick vac this side up. Oh, that's odd. Stick that vac this side up, hand vac this side down. <laughs> Not sure why it says that. Anyway, it's just a, a sponge. Oh, there's a sponge filter with another type of filter sort of fused onto it. And you've got a little bit of a sort of a cyclonic thingy which you can clean, I, I expect. That does come off, but I need to open the bottom first. Um, that's the way it goes in, that's the way it goes back in. Yeah, there we are, it's coming. <laughs> it's almost as if they've glued it, there we are, oh, heck. Right. I'm sure now it'll be okay. This part does twist off. I won't do it now, but I can see how it comes off for, do, for giving it more of a clean, that red section in the middle. It's still a little bit sticky, but I'm sure within use. If there was some dirt in there, the weight of it might help it open, but it probably will need a bit of help for the first few openings, emptyings. So there we go. And pop that back in the cleaner. I think you locate it at the bottom first, possibly. That... Yes. There we are. So that's in. Right, just need to attach the motor head and the handle. I'll put the battery in, we'll turn it on briefly, but it'll probably need a full charge before I do a demo. Connecting the head seems very straightforward. There's no tools needed for that. Just got to ensure, you see at the back of the head here, there are two electrical contacts that obviously take power to the separate motor. And they will somehow connect up. I'm looking in the wrong side. <laughs> that's it, that's the side we need to be concerned with. There's two little holes, so I'm making sure it's in the correct way round. We just need to line up the head into the hole in the base. Hang on, why is that? You know, it looks looked straightforward, but no, no, no. Let's just move that down. I'm sure it is. I'm sure I'm doing something wrong. That's the way up it should be. Let's see if I can show you. There we are. Just seems a bit stiff. Oh, there we are. It's just there we are. That's it, that's in. It was just a bit stiff. Yeah, it's in, that's not going anywhere. You can actually, if you need to take the head off, you can press that button just on the back there and the head will come off. It does actually stand up on its own, which is good. A lot of this type of vacuum won't actually support its weight. Finally, just got one screw to pop in. This little black screw here. So we need to pop the handle in place. It's pretty obvious which way the handle goes. Oh, I like the look of this. Ah, there we are. And then I just need to pop the screw in. Just into that hole there. And oh, I need a Phillips or posi drive screwdriver. Now I did have one, here it is. And it seems to have the right head on it. So just screw that up. Don't over tighten it, that's about right. There we go, so that's fully assembled. Oh, I like it. I haven't used it, of course. But if it performs okay, it might be one that uh, becomes my sort of daily driver, just for quickly whipping around. Let's pop the battery in. That's it. 
think. Oh, Ooh, a bit of a shock there. Didn't expect it to turn on. I had the switch in the on position. It was quite noisy. So, as you can see, we've turned it on here. You can see there are two little lights. So, you know, when you've got it on hard floors or carpets. I've just noticed that the condition of the battery is low because when I switched it on, it was flashing. It's stopped flashing now, but it does mean I've seen you needed charging. So I will pop the lithium ion battery in its charger before giving it another go. But I'll just very quickly just go over the carpet before I do a full demo. It does have a bit of a, a swivel, but it's it's not as flexible as many cleaners of this type. Um, you know, it just has a very slight movement there, so I don't think it's going to help much with manoeuvrability. It feels substantial though. It does feel like a, a lightweight upright more than like a stick cleaner. It does have, yeah, it feels as good, or if even a little bit more solid, than the Bosch Athlete. It certainly seems, the, the brush on it does seem, you can hear it on the carpet, so I think it will make a difference. I'm looking forward to doing a full test. It's picked up a little bit in that tiny, tiny bit of carpet. Can you just see in there, look, there's a little bit of dirt. dog hair mainly that that's picked up that I couldn't see and there's some some finer dust as well so that's that bodes well I think obviously it needs fully charging but first impressions I think this seems quite good if you just need a vacuum just to do your carpets and floors I will of course test it on the hard floor as well as carpets but yeah so far I like the look of it and uh, I look forward to doing a full demo. So I've got the battery charging and as you can see there is a solid blue light here that will start to pulsate in about three hours when the battery is fully charged. Well that's about the end of my unboxing, assembly and first look at the Vax Life Cordless Upright Cleaner. Please subscribe if you don't do so already and you'll be updated every time I upload a new floor care video. Please also click on the little bell symbol next to the subscribe button and allow email notifications and you'll get an email as soon as I upload a new video. If you have any questions about this cleaner, please ask in the section below. And so until the next time, it's bye for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.